Welcome to DJ TV with DJ TV. DJ TV. He don't say to another big One lawyer don't go to Supreme Court and echo one's court to stop about T May 29 inauguration. My people, my people, we greet to now. We welcome on especially to this our channel once again. One barrister where they call Ambrus Ugu don't don't sue FG and others in the way to stop the inauguration of Babatio come May 29. <laughs> don't be smarty, my people. <laughs> This man not only goes to pick up to easy carry leg, enter Echo Wars court to tell make sure say this whole thing stand as in one time. Anyway, my people make a leave on and make gonna watch this video. Mm. As the presidential inauguration is fast approaching, a suit seeking the prohibition of Bola Ahmed Tinubu from being inaugurated as Nigeria's next president on May 29th was instituted on Tuesday at the Court of Appeal in Abuja. The suit is by a presidential candidate in the 2019 election, Ambrose Owuru, and his political party, Hope Democratic Party. Owuru, a constitutional lawyer, is praying the court prohibits President Muhammadu Buhari, the Attorney General of the Federation, and the Independent National Electoral Commission from swearing in the president-elect. Owuru insists that President Buhari has been usurping his tenure of office since the Supreme Court has not determined his petition filed in 2019, challenging the declaration of Buhari as the winner of the 2019 presidential election. Dr. Bati appears that there is nothing that we will not see in Nigeria. I mean, a, this politician, he's also a lawyer. Yeah, I mean, number one, <laughs> where we started uh, Mr. From? Ambrose Owuru is bringing a case before the court, yeah. the Court of Appeal, to say, oh, I'm seeking a prohibitory injunction to prevent the uh, inauguration on May uh, 29 yeah. because of an, an incident in 2019. Yes. And he's saying that the court, you know, uh, did not, uh, the Supreme Court did not determine the matter. And therefore, uh, President Muhammad Buhari who will be completing his term of office in another thirty something days, uh, he says he's a, he's a placeholder. You know, he's an interim placeholder. Well, on the surface of it, what will an ordinary man, a reasonable man, think? Uh, is his case not already academic? So, what relief will he be seeking from the court? What relief does he expect the court to grant him? Oh, that okay, Buhari has done four years since. Uh, uh, 2023, he, Ambrose Uhuru, should now be allowed to do another four years. <laughs> you know, there are some cases in court that are considered frivolous and vexatious. And when a, a, a matter has been rendered academic, the court will so pronounce. But without prejudice to what his release that he's seeking, uh, I think also this is also the point that people make about lawyers. Mm -hmm. Lawyers will collect any kind of brief. Even when the matter is patently, you know, unreasonable to a right-thinking member <laughs> of uh, our society. Absolutely. So he wants to go to court to stop uh, uh, May 29. Okay, fine. Every citizen under the law can go to court. So when you get, it there, get there, it's uh, the court in its wisdom that will then decide whether this is a matter. And uh, don't forget, our courts are, are not just courts of law. Uh, the Supreme Court in particular is also a court of public policy. So even from the point of view of a public policy, you didn't take part in uh, the 2023 election. You were not a candidate. You are not saying you are challenging, you are filing a petition. No, you are filing a petition. You are asking for an injunction over election of uh, 2019. So did he not sleep on his rights? even if he has rights to claim. All right. At least to me, is the way I see it. I thought so too when I saw the petition, Ayo. Okay, so I, I did a little digging, you know, to this man, because he, m many would think he's just come out of a K, a hi of hiding. And I found out that he actually had pursued this matter at the Supreme Court, then went back to the Federal High Court, and I'll tell you what Justice Echo said about him, and then went to the Echoas Court to pursue this. So this is not the first time he's doing that. He's been pursuing his mandate for a long time. You know, I, I still haven't found out how much he was able to gather from the votes in 2019 to 
deem himself as a winner, rightful winner of the elections. But here's what um, Justice Iyang Edem Eko said, and he, he threw out his case on three major grounds. One was that it constituted a gross abuse of court process, as you mentioned, <laughs> Dr. Bati, statue bar, and was also an affront to the supremacy of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, because he went to the federal court after the Supreme Court had thrown out his case based on technical um, on technicalities. He was still not satisfied. He went to the Echo High Court. So that hasn't been decided. So I wonder what would be in this particular suit now that's different from what he did in 2019 that would not make him <laughs> perhaps Dr. Bati, is that a my people, now the video be that so this man serious so not be small. Even the matter self, even we shall rise, not be small by people. Hey, <laughs> hey. They say if the matter go Supreme Court too, you know they satisfied. Then can I go uh, Echo Wars Court too? As in this man, he serious. He mean this matter not be small to see. Hey, hey. Anyway, we're gonna jump on a comment. I wanna visit this whole matter. I'm gonna not forget to like and share this our video. Now do well. See you all in our next video. Bye. Okay.